Hello YouTubers, today we're back on the bullet swaging press. Well yesterday after I did the video I got on this and the first thing I did was I milled the bottom side of this flat. Last weekend I trammed my mill and it had been it was I think 15 thousandths out in about 8 or 10 inches so that was pretty bad. I've got it within about a thousandth to a thousandth and a half out of tram or out of squareness, but I'll have to work on it some more. You can see the lines from the mill, and you can see the circles as the mill was cutting. But if it was exactly right, you'd be able to see the whole circle. You'd see it cutting on this side and this side as it was traveling lengthways. At least that's what I think but uh, it's pretty close and then after I did the bottom side I flipped it over and did this top side and then I cut these slots and I squared up the sides of the slot and the bottom of the slot that's where the little swing arm jobby comes down into it right here like this and that's what will let this rotate. So I got that and then I just kind of squared these up on both sides. I didn't do anything in here because it's plenty big for the uh, piece of pipe or the turn ground polish inch and a quarter that sets in here. These will get welded onto here and then two holes drilled through. I'll do, drill the holes first get it up here where you can see it. I got one for each side and then that's what will pin my ram that will come up through here and then when you wor work the handle it raises it up. So that's where I'm at. Today I think I'm gonna put this in the mill vertical get it all squared up using uh, this on the mill. I'll get it fastened onto here, get it screwed up here and here, and then I have to take a mill cutter and cut down into here, and then drill a half inch hole through into here, and that's what will be the pin for that swing arm to swing on. Actually, yeah, it's a half inch hole, and I'll have to drill a hole into top here for a set screw to hold it in place on both ends. So that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully I can get that part done. So I'm going to go over the mill and get busy. Well after much frustration I finally got this. I put an indicator on my spindle and indicated along here to make sure that was perfectly in line with the uh, spindle and then I did it on this side and I clamped it here and down here now you still can't see it I got clamps here and here holding it so I had it it was within like a half a thousandth in this length and over here both and then I put a my milling cutter let me get it. Right there's my mill. It's a 9 16 And I came in here and milled in a little bit, lowered it, came in, lowered it, lowered it, lowered it a whole bunch of times until I was down tight on here. And then I came back each time I came in I was like a half a thousandths from where I wanted to be and then the last time I came in the full distance so it's nice in here what I what this is is where the swing arm right here will fasten in here and I came back from here half the thickness of this so I can have a half inch hole right in here and then it'll go the pin will go down through here through that and they'll, they'll, there will be room for this to swivel without rubbing in the back. I think I gave it 
five thousandths out this way a little bit farther. So that's where I'm at. I got this side all done. Now I gotta flip it over, indicate it all back in again, and do the same thing on the other end. And then I've got to drill and tap a couple holes here so that when I put my pin in I can just run a set screw in against it to hold it in place. And then my toggle will be done. Then I've got to drill my holes in each end of this one for in here and one for the very top of the press and the uh, the toggle system everything will be done except the ram that goes up and down and then that needs a lot of work too this was probably eh, this was a lot of work and so was the very top but I think the actual ram might be a real exercise in frustration for someone that doesn't know what they're doing. But I'm happy with what I got there as long as when I drill this hole everything lines up, which it should. I did a lot of calculating. Well I think I'm done for the day. I've enough aggravation for one day. Thanks for watching.